Ending a quarter of a century along Corridor G at Southridge, the National Weather Service in Charleston has a new home. Yeah, so Tony Cavalier spent media day on a tour of what he calls mm -hmm. a really neat center for science. Atop the West Virginia Regional Technical Park in nice South windows. Charleston, a walk through the new digs of the National Weather Service has a snazzy feel these days. So it was that Media Day gave local TV meteorologists a glimpse at the modern-day forecast office domiciled by more than 20 atmospheric scientists. In a rapidly changing field, Megan Keebler of Maryland has that glow in her eye as she lives out her childhood dream of working for the world's finest National Weather Service. It included math, a lot of physics and chemistry, uh, thermodynamics, a lot of uh, good math and science courses. When things go haywire, systems analyst Dave Cunningham is the go-to guy to keep the data flowing. His electrical engineering background has several perks as he coddles his love for science. That's me on the tower up the, that's Monterville by Webster Springs. So I prefer to do that work in the summer. It's like it's, it's to where a puzzle and having all that knowledge is to where you can help figure out what the real problem is and they can get you to the end solution where you can get the system back online. What's going on? For a futuristic look at the world, the Sphere of Science Room is where K-12 teachers can bring their students for a brand new view of STEM. Here the spinning globe is filled with stories from the Earth and beyond. Jordan Farrell is the Park Communications Director. The six foot diameter sphere has over 600 data sets and instead of, you know, maybe looking up in the sky at a planetarium, you're actually getting that full uh, view of a planet or what the Earth looks like. It's a 21st century view of science and meteorology right here in the Kanawha Valley. Huh. Now, school class trips can be booked through Jordan Fairlich, since she says the director of the communications at the Tech Park. More than 500 inquisitive kids have already stopped by the Sphere of Science exhibit. And Tony adds it's a must-see for kids going into STEM. Students at Lavalette Elementary School are learning all about animals uh, with important jobs. Yeah, from service pets who help mm -hmm. people to 